Okay, so we are actually going to be talking about artificial intelligence. I think uh, it's so important to take that topic seriously. Microsoft has actually uh, given us just a little taste of how it is to use artificial intelligence, but they've actually built a huge product for you to use. Now for us to actually take advantage of that product, uh, we need to dive a little bit deeper. And what I'm going to do is try to kind of break the walls so that you can start using it to its fullest potential. And so we're going to take a couple of videos on that and get you properly into the Azure stack. Now, when talking about artificial intelligence, uh, what I want to do is sort of set up the uh, environment. Previously, we had gone into the item screen and looked at the Cortana forecast here to the right. I have no idea what algorithm it uses to actually go through this. It'd be really nice to understand that a little bit deeper and create your own artificial intelligence models. So if I go in here into forecast settings uh, and go into open Cortana intelligence gallery and go here and open in studio, what I get is uh, it's like a free version of this. So the workspace that actually comes up is this one here, which is the uh, Paul free. So it picks up my name, adds free to it. And uh, it's, it's like an automatically generated workspace. It doesn't allow me to do much. Um, and, and so what I want to do is create a workspace where we're actually, we can accelerate the engine, uh, make it stronger, and we can develop things on our own. So to start out with, we need to change this workspace here into, um, into a paid workspace in your Azure cloud. So how do you do that? You actually log into the portal, portal.azure.com. And if you haven't done this before, this is a little bit daunting. There is a lot of options here. And this is uh, sort of like going into the engine of the Microsoft stack. And inside the portal, you have all these services. You actually, if you click here, you have all of these services. It's quite a lot. And 99% uh, of the stuff here, you don't really have to think about or understand. <laughs> But, uh, for example, they have virtual machines, so you can run up your servers here if you want to, even though servers are sort of getting to be the thing of the past. Uh, but there's a bunch of things. Now, what we're mostly interested in is the AI plus machine learning, these things here. So if I go into my machine learning studio workspace, I have actually clicked add here and created a new service called Enecta AI. And so you basically just click add here. You get a screen like this where you put in the workspace name, you pick and create a resource group. It's free trial. You have to give your credit card though, even though you can create um, a free version of this. And then if you want to, you can change the pricing tier into a paid version if you need a more powerful engine to run it. But in any case, we're working with free. So I'm just going to exit out of this and get here into Enecta AI. So you get into Enecta AI, you can see all the activity logs um, and information about it. Another interesting thing is you can position it in a location that's close to you so that the lag time is less. Um, but from here, we can actually get into uh, Machine Studio or Machine Learning Studio which is the same thing as we were in before. Go into my experiments. And what happens is you have the same workspace as we had before, except I can now change it to my paid one, like here. And obviously I am not going to have the same experiments as I had because the um, Business Central is by default now connected to this free account, which doesn't exist in your cloud. 
So we have to actually go about and connecting it to the new account, which we'll get into in the next video. But at least here you'll set up your own space, which is on your own Azure cloud uh, to start working on artificial intelligence.